my name is Eugene Ryan, live uh, just outside Port Leash Town, mostly tillage farming, mix of crops, winter oilseed rape, winter barley, winter wheat, uh, spring malt and barley. Um, we have a small livestock enterprise, so there's a bit of rotational grassland by the contracting service to the neighbours, primarily stubble to stubble if required, a little bit of hedge cutting. That he had a uh, lot more stock than we have now and grew a lot of crops, bought a combine in his early days and did a lot of uh, contract harvesting around. He travelled for miles, there wasn't too many combines when he started out, just always liked the farm, uh, liked the machinery, liked the buzz, I really enjoyed it. I, I veered more towards the crop production myself. Uh, it's a great way of life and uh, which is not two years the same. Certainly this time last year it was very daunting heading into high fertiliser prices, high fuel prices and uh, I'm not sure where the grain price is going to end up but um, it turned out we had uh, a great, great year. The weather was very kind to us all year, probably could have done with a small drop of rain more during the main growing season but um, our winter crops were excellent, winter barley was exceptional here, spring barley was pretty good, just about average here but um, you know, when you're harvesting barley at 10-11% moisture it's, uh, it's not something that we're used to, you know, you're generally rushing against showers rather than uh, low moisture. Last time I changed the, the the, the main workhorse I debated on getting auto steer at the time. Um, auto steer is an absolute gift for every every job you do in the farm. It's great for for sowing. You know, you're working long hours, and definitely fatigue isn't as big an issue at the end of the day. Accuracy then, in terms of um, applications, um, is another key point. You're at your full tramline width all the time. We moved then to um, section control sprayer and uh, very happy with that. Um, accuracy is excellent. Um, no overlaps, no scorching on headlands on ins and outs or short ground. And uh, when we changed the combine uh, a couple of years ago, it was already fitted with auto steer, so it was just a matter of um, plugging in the uh, screen that I had and uh, so that's provided yield mapping as well and uh, so I have a couple of years of yield mapping done and so I'm able to sit down and analyse areas of the field where you thought might be um, doing pretty well and are not and so take soil samples and do a little bit of investigation so a um, bit of investment you might think at the start to have all of this but um, it certainly, um, I think, is paying back uh, in spades for me anyway. I suppose everyone wants to learn a bit more about the technology, so we want to see, try and quantify what savings that we can, the technology can bring. So the variable rate spreading, some variable rate seeding, we're working off um, soil results. So that's all coming from the yield maps on the combine and soil analysis. So it's to see, you know, can we put an actual figure on what the, um, what the technology has the potential to save uh, on a piece of ground. Spreading fertilizer, just a little bit on winter barley to get started. New lambkin spreader, way cells, section control. I found the accuracy excellent. Very interested to see the various sections coming on and off as you run into maybe an narrow tram line or into short ground, reducing the uh, possibility of you know some lodging and um, just extra fertilizer going out where it's not needed. So the whole idea of the process is to quantify what uh, what savings, what potential savings that we can make and you know just put a figure on it. The, the aim is to have um, a demo day here in the spring. So we have a, a field chosen where we can, using the variable, uh, rate spreader, we can apply fertilizer according to the yield map and soil analysis. So we'll monitor the crop over the period of the year. We'll also sow the crop with a variable rate seed drill. So a plan has been drawn up to work around the yield maps and soil samples and come up with a suitable seeding rate and uh, uh, assess any uh, potential savings that we may have at the end of the year. So that's ongoing with myself and TFM.